Hi, it's Leo Sarkissian, and uh, with you, I just want to celebrate uh, the week where Martin Luther King Jr.'s holiday takes place and recognize him as a civil rights leader, uh, but also a leader beyond that, a leader of our country, talking about human rights in general, talking about opportunity, and serving as a template for a disability rights movement. So um, I wanted to start with that special recognition of Dr. King and his value and contributions to our communities. Um, I want to tell you about our uh, campaign, uh, I'm Still Waiting campaign, that you can go on our website, our homepage. Uh, if, you, if you search for I'm Still Waiting or you put down arcmass.org slash waiting, you can fill out a form and um, tell us what your status or your situation is now. I, we know there's over 3,000 people and probably more, most likely more than that um, that are waiting. For example, um, this past year, there's 400 fewer people listed in family support enrollment than the previous year when we received an update from the Department of Health Services. We know that 2,300 people turned 22 uh, between FY20 and 22. Well, that doesn't include the, the past two years. We know this year, for example, 1,400 more people in the 2024 are turning 22 and about 1,300 the year before. So if you add them all up, just that number alone is staggering. It's close to 5,000 people. You know, we can quibble about the number. Maybe it's 4,200 people, 4,400 people, but it's significant. It's twice the number that we received the last report on. And the question is, what happens, right? And, and obviously not all get services, but even if 60 to 70 percent need services, we know that the Mass Health Dehabilitation Census is still struggling and low. We know that DDS reported to us in um, that their September figure, there was a 93% utilization, which means the billing they received from providers about who's attending is 93% relative to pre-COVID billing. And we know that the other programs, supported employment, they're at more in the 70s. Um, so where are the people getting supported, right? Um, if we have that number, which sounds impressive, 93% for the DDS day program, but we have, you know, 4,500 to 5,000 more people who graduated during the COVID period. And now, um, where are they being served? Or have they taken spots of other people who have not been able to return? So we really want to encourage you folks out there to participate, to engage with us. We want to record some of your stories as well. We don't, we want to record them in writing and video. So we need you to join with us and get involved. Do not lose hope and let us see about helping you get connected to folks that can go that extra mile with you. Go ahead, take advantage of our page, thearchmas.org slash waiting, or go on to archmas.org and search for I'm waiting and fill out that form. Take care. Bye-bye.